Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. Summer is coming, at least summertime, sommartid. If you are in Sweden, we are switching to daylight saving time. We will go from winter time to summer time. When is this happening? Saturday night between the 26th of March and Sunday 27th of March 2022. What does it mean to change to summertime? Time will move forward. If the time was 2 in the morning, it will change to 3 in the morning. So you will basically get one hour less of sleep. So if your Swedish colleagues are extra tired during this time of the year, then you know why. But how can you remember if you should move the time forward or backwards? Well, Swedes have a little trick for this. We associate utomusmöbler, outdoor furniture, or the grill, grillen, with summer. So we use these things as a metaphor for moving forward. So in Swedish, during this time of the year, when we change to summertime, we say ta fram utomhusmöblerna or ta fram grillen. We say it's time to take out the outdoor furniture or the grill. And Swedes know that this take out is the same thing as move forward. So that's how we can think in a more logical way that we need to move the clock one hour forward and not backwards. Nowadays, Technology takes care of most of our digital watches. But if you have a clock that doesn't move forward by itself, like this one, then it's good to remember this outdoor furniture metaphor. And talking about days, time and seasons, today we're going to teach you a lot about this topic. Because it's vocabulary that we use dagligen, daily. Let's start with the first word, dag. Dag is how we say day. Not so different from English. And if you want to conjugate this word, so you can also say it in definitive form and plural, then it would be like this. So from the beginning, en dag, a day. Dagen, the day. Dagar, days. Dagarna, the days. Sometimes in spoken Swedish, especially when we speak really fast, we have a tendency to not pronounce the word like how they are written. So the word dagen, the day, can sometimes become dawn the day. For example, instead of saying jag jobbar på dagen imorgon, they might say jag jobbar på dagen imorgon. And in spoken Swedish, the original word dagar, days, normally becomes dar when we speak really fast. And the word dagarna, the days, can sometimes become dana. I know it's a bit tricky. And of course, both versions are okay. There can also be some dialectal differences. But in general, it's good to also learn the spoken Swedish. An interesting fact is that the word dog, day, is also a Swedish name. For example, this man, Dag Hammarskjöld. For those who don't know him, he was a very, very famous Swedish diplomat. And he was also the UN's secretary general in the 50s, 60s. So, next word, vecka, week. And it's conjugated like this. En vecka, a week. Veckan, the week. Veckor, weeks. Veckorna, the weeks. An important thing to know about Swedes is that we love to talk about weeks. For example, instead of saying I will be on vacation between the 25th of July to the 31st of July, we will probably say instead I will be on vacation week 30. And in Swedish this would be Jag är på semester vecka 30. Most Swedes kind of know by heart that week 30, vecka 30, happens sometime in late July. And if we don't know exactly, there's so many Swedish pages where we can look this up. But in general, we have a feeling for weeks. Next word, månad, month, also very similar to English. And it's conjugated like this. En månad, a month. Månaden, the month. Månader, month, plural. And månaderna, the month. And since we're talking about månader, I will say them in Swedish so that you can practice the pronunciation. Because even if they're very similar to English, at least when you see them written, the pronunciation can be a little bit different. Januari, februari, mars, april, maj, juni, juli, augusti, september, oktober, november, december. Another thing that can be a little bit different from English and perhaps other languages 
is that we write the month with small letters, not big ones. Next word, år. Or is how we say year. And this is a special one because it's an et word. So the conjugation looks a little bit different. It looks like this. Et år, a year. Året, the year. Or, years. Yes, very special one. We're going to talk more about this. Åren, the years. So here's a very important rule to remember if you're going to work with plurals in Swedish. If you see an et word that ends with a consonant, then in plural, obestemd, it becomes the same. So for example, et år, a year, years, år. If you want to say, now is 2022, then you would say, nu är er det 2022. So other words, but more related to time, are these one. Sekund, second. Very similar to English, but again, we like K and we like U. And it's conjugated like this. En sekund, a second. Sekunden, the second. Sekunder, seconds. Sekunderna, the seconds. Next word, minut. Also very similar to English, minute, but very, very different in pronunciation. Because in Swedish, when we have a vowel with just one consonant coming after, like in this case, then the vowel gets extra long. So that's why we say minut. For example, listen to this very, very useful phrase. Jag kommer om en minut. I will be back in one minute. And then we have our word for hour is timme. If you conjugate this, it would be like this. En timme, an hour. Timmen, the hour. Timmar, hours. And timmarna, the hours. For example, in this phrase. Jag pluggar svenska med fun Swedish fyra timmar i veckan. I study Swedish with fun Swedish five hours a week. Something that you can actually do with us. Check out our beginner video bundle where we actually talk a lot about this vocabulary and also how you construct plurals in Swedish. You can find the link here or in the description below. Our next word, morgon. Morgon is a Swedish word for morning, but we normally pronounce it more like morgon. Good morgon is how we would write the expression good morning. However, very few people pronounce it like this. Most Swedes will probably say instead good morgon. Yes, it sounds a bit like the Swedish saying good morgon to you, but at least this way you're going to get the pronunciation right. God morgon. Two words that are very easy to mix up is morgon and i morgon. The first one, like we said before, means morning. And the other one, i morgon, means tomorrow. Uh? This can be very confusing. We see you morgon. See you tomorrow. Some other useful words. Our word for evening and sometimes also night, depends a bit what the time is, would be kväll. And then our word for night, more like after 12, would be natt. And then we have come to some seasons. The Swedish word for season is årstid, year time. That's how we say season in Swedish. And the Swedish årstider are the following. Vår. This is how we say spring, but this word vår can also mean our. So you could basically say vår vår, our spring. Höst, fall, don't mix it up with hest, which means horse. Winter, winter. Again, very similar to English, but we like our V's instead of our W's. And if you want to know more about these seasons and what Swede define as winter and summer, then you can check out this video. And then finally, we have two words that are very useful if you want to know about opening hours and opening days. For example, the word for weekend in Swedish is helg, and the weekend would be helgen. Don't mix it up with elg, that's how we say moose or elk. But anyway, helg is weekend, and helgen is the weekend. So you can, for example, say on a sign, öppetider helg, which means opening hours during the weekend, so normally lördag och söndag, Saturday and Sunday. And then we have the word vardagar. Vardagar is how we say weekdays. So basically, måndag, tisdag, onsdag, torsdag, fredag, Monday to Friday. And on some signs you might see it says öppetider vardagar, opening hours, weekdays. Very useful if you want to know the opening hours of Systembolaget. If you want to know more about weekdays, 
then I recommend you to check out this video we made about weekdays and Nordic mythology. You will find the Nordic gods like Thor and Odin in the weekdays. And if you want us to continue doing videos for you, then don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. This motivates us to spend the whole Helgen, the weekend, filming videos for you. Hej då, vi ses nästa vecka!